Hello and assalamu alaikum. This is Aisha from Radio Bula Masti, live here at uh, Fleetwood Islamic Center with Brother Abdul Rahman Ali. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Beautiful day, we can complete. Beautiful day, beautiful day. SubhanAllah, the glory of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Very beautiful. It is amazing, beautiful yeah. for a change. Eh? So we're here today to talk about uh, why we don't see too many of our kids um, in religious functions, whether it be at masjids, mandirs, temples. Uh, I go and cover a lot of events, and uh, I see mostly seniors, whether it's cooking, cleaning, being involved in any way, uh, even when the speeches and stuff happen, there's so much good information being passed on. So my question to you today was, and that's why I called you, is why do we think that um, our kids are shying away from these places. So, uh, Brother Abdul, um, you are a um, the, the lead Imam here at um, Fleetwood Islamic Center, and Alhamdulillah, you're doing an amazing job, and you are um, our Molana here for Radio Bula Masti as well. You bring great programs on our radio, um, you know, Fridays, and there are other times there's special events going on. So I want to thank you for that, and and uh, so uh, Fleetwood Islamic Center is uh, right here in Fleetwood on Fraser, and I believe it's 163. 63. Um, so that's where we are right now. But the question goes back to uh, Brother Abdul Rahman: Is why do you think our kids are not so involved? First and foremost, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salamu ala rasuli al-kareem wa ala alihi wa sahabihi al-ma'in amma ba'd All praise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the King of the Kings, the All-Wise, the Sustainer, the one who knows everything. Alhamdulillah and peace and blessings and salutations be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his entire household, the beloved Sahaba and the entire Ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Almighty bless us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Almighty forgive us. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us on this beautiful day. Amen. So, like you said, Aisha Ji, um, youth is very important in our generation, especially in this day and age. When we look back at the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, so when he used to sit amongst the youth, he always used to encourage them, he always used to bring them to the mosque, he always used to um, um, do activities with them, even our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you know, we see him as a messenger, but we don't see the other parts, what he did with, with the Ummah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Like he used to play with them, he used to have activities with them, to bring them closer to the mosque. So, so now when I go to mosques and stuff, I personally find it so intense. Yes, yes, it, it is, in, in this day and age, we have to understand that any, any kid, any young person that comes to the mosque, don't judge them because we are not the judge only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the judge you don't know what part or when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving that person hidayah mm -hmm. and when he's coming for the first time even if he's coming to the first stuff to read mm -hmm. or even if he's coming wearing clothes um, different kind of clothing or earrings or whatever or what, what's so not but it does not matter because we are not the judge mm -hmm. and we shouldn't put them back mm -hmm. sometimes we see um, brothers and sisters um, kids coming to pray in the first saf at the masajid and then um, they tend to tell them to go back. But there was one hadith of the Prophet وسلم, where one of the companions, uh, one kid, one children, young person, in between their salah, he was playing. Mm -hmm. So after the salah was finished, that sahaba told him, don't do this. Mm -hmm. But then the Prophet وسلم, said, do not get angry with them, let them play, because they will be the leaders of our next generation. So this is what we need to come to and understand, that if we don't bring the youth in by doing activities, by helping them in this generation right now, look at what's going on in the world. It's very, it's very hard to look at the youth. You only see two, three youth in the mosque, the rest is seniors. So the seniors... So, so where do you think we went wrong? So, and, and there's no wrong or right, we're not picking on anyone, this is just what I 
kind of experience. This is what I'm noticing out there. Um, and when talking to the kids, when you talk about going to the mosque, um, they make excuses. So um, I've, I'm born here. I, I went to Madrasa here. And over the years, you see the youth going uh, lower and lower. Mm -hmm. So elders, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, they did a lot of khidmat. They came here, they formed the masajids, mm -hmm. they did a lot of effort. But there's always generations to come. Mm -hmm. So what we have to understand is the elders as well, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of them, that when elders let the young generation in as well, give them a chance to become leaders, give them a chance to be part of the society, mm -hmm. then the youth will be so, uh, they, they will feel welcomed. Mm -hmm. And when you, when you do this for the youth, you're going to see inshallah, lots of youth come to the mosque. Mm -hmm. And this, and vice versa, the youth always have to respect your elders mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, respect is a very uh, big ni'mah, a bi very big degree in, 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 in our world right now. And we have to look, look at it both ways as well. Mm -hmm. But this is what I think, the, the elders need to um, let the youth in, um, help them um, in whatever problems they're going through. Mm -hmm. There's so many youth going through many problems. Mm -hmm. We should form councils, we should form societies. There's already so many societies out there. Mm -hmm. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless their efforts. Mm -hmm. But we need to do more. So here's another thing that I noticed. And, and again, this is just my experience in the last little while. Um, we want to keep our language. We want to keep our culture. That's great. But in Canada, like in here in Lower Mainland, I'm talking about only, but if you look at it in Canada, let's say, uh, most of the kids, even when they are very little, before they start going to school, doesn't matter how much you talk in your own language, whether it be Hindi, Urdu, um, whatever language it is, but it seems like the, the, the kids always catch on to the English language. They go to school, they speak in English. So when they, when they come to a madrasa, a masjid, or a mandir, any temple for that matter, I go to a lot of places and I see, experience the same thing. Hardly ever see um, teenagers or, or youths or kids there, unless they're very little and the parents kind of drag them. Uh, I, I hear from them that they don't understand what they're saying, but hear us, we are trying to keep our language alive. So what's your opinion on that? So my opinion is we live in Canada, Alhamdulillah, and uh, this is a very blessed, very blessed country. And uh, we have to acknowledge the fact that everyone here speaks English. And there are some uh, kids that do speak Urdu and Hindi, mm -hmm. but the majority of kids here, when they come to the masajid, um, if I mean, there's no problem if you speak in Urdu or do bayan or teach in Urdu, but you have to look at what era we're in now. Mm -hmm. Because kids, when they come to the mosque, if you want, the, if you want to attract, especially the youth, you have to speak in their language. Mm -hmm. If you don't speak in their language, they will, uh, will they won't understand, mm -hmm. and they will go away. So, and I think that's what's happening. That's what's yeah, happening. Exactly, because I, I, Alhamdulillah, you know, we have to start. I mean, you do Arabic because that's a Sunnah of the Prophet yes. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We read the Quran, we teach the Quran because we need to do this and learn what the Quran is saying. And as well, we need to speak in English, do tafsir in English, do speeches in English, so the kids will understand what the Quran is saying and what uh, what uh, kind of way can pump up the youth. Mm -hmm. so this is my point of view on this. So this is just our opinion, our point of view. If anyone wants to give their opinion, their point of view, you're more than welcome to call us at Radio Bula Masnif. I would love to bring you guys on the show uh, to see how our kids can get involved in doesn't matter what religion uh, it is. I'm talking about all the religions here that I have been to. Uh, religious functions and stuff. Uh, please uh, let's work together to see if we want to keep our culture, if we want to keep our religion, how can we keep it alive? Because I personally see it fa slowly, slowly fading away because I don't see these kids coming to the masjids, temples and stuff. Uh, just a few days ago I was at a, a mandir and I saw these seniors uh, Bichari Lok, they, they, they did all the cooking, they were doing all the cleaning, they were feeding all the guests in there. Uh, the youths were nowhere to be seen. 
So what can we do? What can we do as a community, as a society, to keep our culture going? I know language is one thing. Are we, and this is a question, I don't know the answers, are we using the language uh, to keep our language alive or our culture alive or are we using this language as a roadblock? So that's another question that I have for people out there. Yeah, yeah, that's, that, see, that comes in different ways, right? Mm -hmm. You have to, it can be because of a roadblock, mm -hmm. obviously, or it can be because, see, you have to understand that um, in this society, um, we, 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 we need to move on forward mm -hmm. and we also have to bring the youth with us mm -hmm. right that's, but how that's a, how is the question so that that way is we need to first of all all committees or all community yeah. community people that are uh, doing a lot of effort especially our seniors they do a lot of effort very, if you very see much. In, in in all of the societies mm -hmm. you know they're always there in the morning mm -hmm. um, getting the for mm -hmm. the, the programs getting mm -hmm. everything done mm -hmm. but you don't see youth there See, one thing, they, uh, one thing I know that, you know, seniors are retired, they have the time. So that's one thing I hear, yeah, we have the time, what are we, go what are we going to do sitting at home, we just keep ourselves busy doing good deeds in the community. So that is great. But now, the other question is, for the seniors, how can you use your seniors? Uh, how can we use our seniors to educate our kids and bring our kids and get our kids involved in all these functions that we do? Yeah, actually, even even like, like we're having a we're having a madrasa a youth program today here, and Alhamdulillah, you can see all the uh, volunteers here helping out. And this is another thing you have to look at the part of uh, part of where worship is but also the part of khidmat mm -hmm. so if, if you get involved in this when we pass away when we when, when we let go this will keep on going on and this is what we have to acknowledge the the, the seniors have to bring and and, 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 and and advertise in a way that the youth themselves they come and they help out alhamdulillah I'm not saying that youth don't help out or elders they, don't they say do that. Quite a bit. They do help out, but we need more. Mm -hmm. We need we we need more so our generation will keep on going further on. Mm -hmm. and, and and I always make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we all Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants us all with hidayah mm -hmm. and that we become uh, pure uh, worshippers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Amen. Amen. We are not saying that the youth is not doing what they no. should, but all we're saying is how can we get the youth out into uh, into these religious functions and where the seniors are doing so much, um, how can the youths be there uh, and, and do the work the seniors are doing and, and with the guidance, with the help of the seniors, get get us, uh, get me, get get the, the kids to where the seniors are and, and uh, help out and, and work and teach us and yes. guide us, you know. So this is a question out to everyone out there. Uh, it's not just a Muslim religion, it's any religion out there. I see this in different areas, different societies, different committees. Um, so feel free to reach out to me, 604-427-0291. We can talk, we can come talk to you as well. And um, uh, we've got a youth program uh, starting here at uh, Fleetwood Islamic Center. Yeah. Do you want to just quickly talk about that? Yeah, so uh, we've been teaching, I've been teaching Quran at the Fleetwood Islamic Center for about uh, four years now. And Alhamdulillah, the youth, they, they, uh, they have progressed a lot in reading the Quran, understanding the religion of Islam, and uh, they're going to be presenting today what they have learned. And it, it feels good. Mm -hmm. It feels really good to see the youth come mm -hmm. out and they're, they're becoming leaders. Mm -hmm. And this is what we need. We need leaders for the next generation. And when we give them gifts and certificates, it's, it's encouraging, encouraging them. Encouraging So this is what we need motivated. to do. Small things like this, like in one hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa he says, do not belittle any good deed, mm -hmm. even if it's meeting your brother with a cheerful face. Wow. Do not belittle anything. Mm -hmm. Do whatever you can, and you will get it in the hereafter and in this world. I mean, I mean. Thank you very much. Thank and you. when do the classes happen? Uh, the classes are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, from 4:30 to 6:30, and uh, we go over Quran and, uh, and Islamic studies. And feel anyone who wants to uh, anyone who wants to enroll their kids, 
Just come and see me here at 430 or you can call me 604-729-8596. I'm always here. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all. Thank you. Live from uh, Fleetwood Islamic Center. This is Aisha from Radio Bula Masli, Shana TV.com. Thank you, brother. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you.